Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. By the time you watch this video, I am off in Fredericksburg hanging out with my husband and some friends. But I did manage to record this video before I left. Currently, my entire website is sold out. So in this video, I'm going to be knocking out some unfinished projects so that I can try to do some type of restocking both in the shop and on the website. Let's get started. All right, for our very first project, I have these lamps that I had put in my shop when it opened. During the grand opening week, I was really rushing to get things in there. So I just kind of threw these together and it wasn't really my best work. After a week in the shop, I did bring them back home and I'm going to give them the real makeover that I should have done in the first place. So for this video, I'm only going to show one lamp. In this process, I am doing decoupage using these napkins that I picked up from Amazon and I love these napkins because they are covered in birds. You get about four birds with each napkin. So all I'm doing is tearing it with the edges so that they're a bit rugged and that it doesn't look too sharp so that you can't tell they're napkins. And I'm using uh, the polyurethane to apply this. It's water-based. And I'm using this because I need a lot more and I feel like this is more cost-effective and it works just as effectively as any of the other designer decoupage mediums on the market. Once my napkins are done and it's going to take some time for them to dry, I'm going over this paint job. Originally it was just white with a dry brush and apothecary, but now I'm covering it in DIY old school paint. And I'm gonna let this sit overnight because I want to do a layered look. So the next day once the paint is dry, I'm doing a wet distressing to bring some of that white back through that old school. And I still wasn't pleased with how this look turned out. It looked like it was still missing something. So now I'm going over it and using this beautiful navy blue color that I mixed myself. I do not remember the ratios. And I did water it down to create a type of wash. And so I'm just applying it. And then I'm going to go ahead and wipe it back right away so that it doesn't have time to sit and dry. And I'm much, much more pleased with the way they're turning out because this blue is actually matching those napkins much better and it's bringing out more of those details and it's giving me more of the edge to look that I was looking for. I am now waxing them with DIY clear wax. Alright, moving on to our next project, we have this little table that I painted using a salt wash and DIY paint. I never did get to sand it and finish it, so today I'm getting my uh, mouse sander and all I'm doing is sanding off uh, some of this white to reveal the texture and bring out some of that blue color that is underneath in the salt wash. Uh, once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and seal this and that would be all for this project. 
you know sometimes we really put things off not realizing it would only take about a minute to finish them off put a price tag on them and either get them on our online store or put them in the shop space so that they can be making money and not just sitting in the workshop spaces collecting dust For our final project, we have this wreath that I had covered in some uh, florals and I put inside this little wooden box. I never did get to finish it. My initial vision was to add some lemons to it and so I'm going to go ahead and commit to that vision. Even though it's no longer spring, we are currently in full-blown summer down here in Texas. But if it doesn't sell this season, I have no problem storing it until next spring. This is also going to be listed on my online website so I know the many people out there who love lemons myself included who would be totally fine purchasing this even though it's not springtime Thanks so much for watching. Let me know if you had a favorite project in this video. And if you are currently struggling with unfinished projects, I encourage you to go ahead, get those projects out and finish them out because for every second they're sitting in your workshop and are not in your shop or online, you are not making any money. The number one rule of resale is that you have got to sell it. So let's go ahead and get those projects finished and let's make some cash. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.